Right now, investigators are still trying to locate the man responsible for making the nine threatening calls to La Jolla Police Department's dispatch. Now, tonight, we are learning that this is not the first time cartel members have threatened an agent's life. No, Andrew Murphy. The threatening calls were made to La Jolla police on Christmas Day. We've learned the calls came from a phone number with a 956 area code. We do what we can to uh, keep criminals and drugs and terrorists uh, out of our country and out of our neighborhoods. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's painfully obvious that they're they're here living amongst us, these cartels. Chris Cabretta, the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council's Local 3077, says the recent 911 threats are shocking. The whole thing, you know, uh, wanting for somebody to, to, to threat the dispatcher like this did, which, uh, you know, that's kind of kind of cowardly right there. Um, the dispatcher really has nothing to do with, with anything out there. Cabretta tells Action 4 this is not the first threat made against an agent. I've had threats in the past. Um, very rarely it's a kidnapping. Usually it's a, a bounty. Um, X amount of dollars to, to kill a Border Patrol agent. He says threats like these are just a reminder of how dangerous the job can be. Action 4 asked if an agent had been killed in the line of duty resulting from a bounty. That people try and uh, pull them out of vehicles and hit them with rocks, try and knock them unconscious or, or drag them into the water. But Fortunately, he says those attempts were unsuccessful. And while the recent kidnapping claims are unnerving. I'm sure we're always on our toes. Um, but, you know, we're, we're not the type that are, that are going to, you know, run and hide from, from these, uh, these cowards. Um, we'll, we'll go out there, we'll do our job just the same. They're not going to deter us from doing what we do. And, um, you know, hopefully nobody has uh, one of our agents, but if they do, uh, we'll, we'll deal with them. We'll, we'll find them and, 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 and we'll get our agent back. While all Border Patrol agents may be accounted for in the Rio Grande Valley, Cabretta says that being that it is the holidays, it is also possible that agents from other neighboring sectors could be visiting their relatives right here in the Rio Grande Valley. In the newsroom, I'm Ashley Custer. Action for News.